Greetings, everybody. Uh, this is not going to be so much a Bible study, but a warning. Uh, I guess you could call it DNA testing. No way. I did a, a thing on DNA testing and why they wanted it. Well, somebody sent me an article today, and I th put two and two together, and I think I figured out why they uh, are doing all these DNA testings. And by the way, they caught the um, DNA companies sharing their results with the federal government and the police. And they've been using that to um, supposedly solve crimes. But there's a thing called HealthWise, W-Y-Z-E. And they got a video called The Forced Argus, Ar Harvest Organ the forced organ harvesting of socialized medicine. Now they talk about the Chinese government uh, doing forced organ, organ don uh, forced organ donation. Okay, so when uh, one of their leaders is 78 years old and decides he needs a new lung, guess what? Boom. Hey, let's do DNA testing on all our political prisoners. And then when they find a match, um, well, let's just say he doesn't live too long. So, but in the, according to their video of this HealthWise, I'm going to read you a clip. Quote, the British government is mandating that all of its citizens become organ donors. The organs of those who do not explicitly opt out are considered fair game. This is the latest reminder that the British government considers its subjects, not citizens, subjects. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that was my uh, thing. This is the latest reminder that the British government considers its subjects to be property. Unquote. Bob note. Subjects are not citizens. Subject means your subjects means you're subject to the crown, means you belong to the crown. So uh, let's continue on. Quote: This video catalogs the dark side of organ donations, including the nefarious activities of the American medical establishment. Unquote. They've caught at least one doctor that um, in the U.S that uh, somebody was hurt hurt in an auto accident, not that bad, and they uh, faked his death, gave, gave the, the, the victim a whole bunch of, uh, oh, I don't know, painkiller, and then harvested their organs. I don't remember which one. I think it was their heart. I'm not sure. And then the family found out you know, the person wasn't even hurt that bad. I mean, really, it was, you know, but uh, they found out it was a, a match for somebody that was very wealthy, and their, their heart went to somebody, you know, like some wealthy person with a family, you know, like the Rockefellers or something. And, um, you know, that's what happens. So I strongly suggest do not do DNA testing on yourself or your family. Who cares where you're from, supposedly? I, I, I don't even know if they, they can figure that out. I think it's just a scam to, to get us to do DNA testing so that they can check the parameters to see if we're a good match to some wealthy person that needs new organs, new liver, new heart, new lungs. Uh, you know, do you get the idea? So, who knows? But uh, the British government, yeah. And it's not just uh, England. I mean, you know, they're doing it here too. I forget the name of the two big DNA testings, but one of them's 23andMe, and uh, then you got the other one. So, but they, they did catch them sharing the results with the government. For what purpose? I don't know. All right. DNA testing, no. No. When the police ask you, no. Don't send it in. All right.
by. Oh, one more thing. Isn't it funny that, uh, or is it, that in the Bible, that um, there's uh, that talks about those that are beheaded for Christ. Well, guess what? Beheading saves the organs. But not only that, in Obamacare, there was a um, beheading provision. And also in Georgia, the government pa uh, passed a uh, criminal, a bunch of criminal laws, and beheading was one of the methods of execution. And they specifically mentioned um, organ donations. Yeah. Yeah, so they, you know, cause of death in Obamacare. One of the, the medical codes specifically was beheading. So, all right. All glory to Jesus. Amen. This is Chaplain Bob signing off.